Hey YouTube, how you doing? Kid Zippo here. Well, it was up the gun show today, and uh, I want to show you what I picked up. Now, couldn't fit all this stuff in the box. You know, the manual and the, you know, my price tag. And, uh, a Youth Handgun Safety Act notice. And copy of my background check. Plastic bag the gun came in, and a red tag precautions, you know, blah blah blah. And it came with a lock. Well, of course it did. Okay, see? The little itty bitty box. EAA Corporation. Windicator blue 357 4 inch. There you go. I always wanted a 357. I don't know if it's Dirty Harry movies or what it was, but uh, here it is. See? Just so you can see. Empty. Now, it's a single double action. Yeah. You don't have to pull a hammer back every time. See? Nice. Heavy. Um, it was made in Germany. Imported by uh, EAA out of Cocoa Beach or Cocoa, Florida. And uh, FAR 357 Magnum. I'm reading the cylinder right now. And, uh, looking to see if it says anything else on here. Nope, just 357 Magnum. Locks up nice and tight. On the barrel it says 38 Special, 357 Magnum. See? It's your basic pistol. It's got, uh, you know, the hard machined in rear sight. And a big ramp sight in the front. I'll have to paint it so I can pick it up easier, but... Feels nice, got a good grip to it. Um, I don't know, I got a thing about revolvers, I guess. But uh, it's got some sort of a stamp up here by the. I don't know if you'd be able to see that or not, but if I hit the light right, maybe you can. It's right there by the serial number, which is here on the top strap. But, uh, it, yeah, I, I, maker's mark and country of origin, you know, that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, the Windicator brand, which is right down here. See if you can see that. There. I think you can pick that up pretty good. But, yeah, I, I got this for what I thought was a good price, so... And, uh, with the right sh shoulder holster, I'll be able to carry it right there. Four inch barrel, blued, so far so good, nice gun. And I finally got this in the mail today. I'm going high tech on my ear protection. These are the Walker Razor Slim Electronic Muffs, the Patriot Series. I've already cut the top of the thing open because I didn't want to do it on camera. But uh, there's no instructions. It does come with a couple of uh, Velcro American flag patches so you can put them here on the side. I might have them backwards, I don't know. As long as I don't put them on there upside down, it's all good. Get the cords out of the way. There we go. And pull them out. Oh, what's that? Stuck in the ear cups? Batteries and instruction manual. I'll bet you. Warranty card.
Return bottom portion to Walker, you know, da, 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 Grand Prairie, Texas. <laughs> bottom portion is blank. <laughs> so they must mean this stuff here. Okay. And it's got simple instructions. And a lot of stuff that if I don't use my bifocals, I can't read. Limited warranty, blah, blah, blah. Features, two omnidirectional microphones, fully full dynamic range HD speakers for clear balanced sound, low noise frequency tuned for safety or natural sound clarity. Yeah, I know, I'm reading, it's okay. And I know you're not used to seeing me without a hat, but, you know, I figured, yeah, well, I'm in the house. Um... It's got an audio jack, so if I want to plug my phone into it, where'd it go? Is that it here? Probably. Audio jack. Yep. I can plug in and listen to music and... Take that out of there. See how they fit? Nope. There. They're pulling out or something. There it is. They had it stuffed up in there. Come on. There. Now. Here, out of the way. Wow. Now, without the batteries in them, they're really just earmuffs. Low profile. And they seem to fit pretty good. Um, bum, bum, bum. Maybe I should wear them that way. Because they don't say left or right on them. So. Off. On. Here. So let's try it this way. Hair's in the way. I know I should get a haircut. I'm thinking about it really seriously. They feel good. Nice good seal. And they come with a couple Duracell. What are they? Thought they were AAA. Yeah. AAA batteries, but they look I don't know. Maybe it's just me, they look short. And, uh, when I get a chance to get out to the range again, I will be uh, putting together uh, a video on these and the 357. So instead of dropping stuff all over the place and not being able to hear anything, I'll take them off and... Remember, life is good and pick up your brass.